Well, basically, genetic resources for food and agriculture are all those organisms uh, on which we depend on for food and fiber. Uh, so the crop species, the livestock species, uh, and the variability within them, but also uh, those organisms that provide ecosystem services that, that uh, are important for food production. For example, uh, pollination, biological control, uh, soil fertility, and also those microorganisms that are important for food processing, uh, like in the production of cheese, yogurts, uh, beer, etc., bread, etc. I think one of the main uh, challenges we all have for the future are those presented uh, by the combined impact of climate change and land use change. And those two processes are, are leading to uh, uh, significant impacts on, on food production glo globally. And we will need enhanced attention to genetic resources and enhanced availability of genetic resources to uh, provide the solutions to, for, uh, to adapt to these uh, uh, new uh, challenges uh, that will f uh, face all of us uh, for the future. We need the Commission because uh, genetic resources is a critical uh, issue uh, for livelihoods, uh, for uh, social and economic reasons, and it uh, uh, deserves more attention. And the Commission has play, uh, played an important role in, in, in bringing more attention to the issues of genetic resources, uh, uh, both in terms of uh, identifying the trend in terms of loss of uh, genetic resources, which unfortunately continues to happen. Uh, also uh, highlighting the importance of conservation of genetic resources, both uh, in situ on farm conservation, uh, but also in ex situ through gene banks. I think it's in the area of uh, bringing together information, uh, updated information about the status and trends of genetic resources uh, throughout the world. So the global reports that FAO produces through the, the work uh, coordinated by the work of the Commission. It's thanks to the work of the Commission that uh, countries were able to negotiate an agreement on plant genetic resources, the international treaty. And that helps provide uh, basic rules to facilitate access to genetic resources, also to uh, implement the farmer's rights uh, principles, uh, also to enhance conservation of genetic resources. For me, particularly, uh, given the role of the Convention on Biological Diversity, I think it's quite important, uh, the joint work uh, the, the, the Commission has been uh, doing uh, together with us. It's a two-way process, so uh, we benefit in, in the CBD uh, discussions and negotiations and work programs from the uh, technical inputs from the Commission and their uh, global assessments, uh, etc. And also the Commission utilizes uh, all the, the, the agenda, the uh, programs, the agreements reached under the CBD to uh, promote its, its own work. I believe very much that uh, uh, biodiversity is a critical element to promote sustainable development and in particular those components of biodiversity that are related to food uh, uh, food security so the 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 work that done by the the commission is uh, very important because it, it deals exactly with those components of biodiversity that are of particular 
direct importance uh, uh, for all of us. Of course, the convention is much broader, the, the, the CBD, and it deals also with other components of biodiversity that might not have a, a direct uh, uh, relevance for society, but has indirect uh, importance, and it's good that through the work with those components of biodiversity that are, people see as direct, uh, directly important for them, they can also be engaged in the broader agenda of biodiversity conservation. All I ask to, like to add is to congratulate the Commission for its anniversary, for all the successful work done so far, and I wish uh, all the, the, the best luck for the future work of the Commission, and I look forward for continued uh, collaboration between the Convention and the Commission.